Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to make a four patch variation. So to do that you're going to need um, three different colors. My white squares are three and a half inches and you need two of those. Then I chose a dark green here, two three and a half inches and two three and a half by six and a half rectangles. And then my lighter green is two six and a half inch squares. So I'm going to leave that there for a minute so you can screenshot that if you need to. I don't know if I'll be putting them in the description. I'll try, but also it might not happen. So we're going to start by taking these out and we are just going to match these up together. We're going to lay those up there. We're not going to need them just yet. This one, there we go. We're just going to sew right down through there. Let me pin it. And then this one. Pin it. And we're going to head over to the sewing machine and sew those right up. Oof. This angle gets worse and worse. I'll figure something out. So we're going to just quarter inch seam. All right. And on this one, just keep on going. Get my little square back here. Cut them loose. Let's go back over to the pressing mat. Let's cut them apart. We're going to iron these open to the green side. All right. So now we want our square. Our white pieces are going to be in the middle here, right like that. So now we just have to line these up. You're going to take your rectangles and you're going to put one here and one here. Well, if I could get on the screen, let's move these. So we're just going to fold this over and pin it. a couple pins in that. One day I'll throw away all these bent pins but today is not that day. And then you're going to do the same here. Just fold it over. We're going to flip it this way though because, well, just because. Because then I can line up my, make sure this goes the right way when I'm sewing it. Then we'll head over and sew this right down. I guess we'll do this one first since it's laying here. And we'll just make sure that goes under the, the presser foot there going the right way. One more. it around get our ender all right where is the pressing mat it's a pretty simple one you guys we're pretty much done I mean we have to sew those to it obviously but you know so now we're just going to lay it out again. Our white squares are in the middle. Then we'll take our big ones and put them here. 
and then we will sew our two sides together these two and then we'll sew it together but let's start here and I am going to flip this over again because I like to sew with this side on top because then it, I can make sure it goes the right way now obviously I can't do that if there's seams on both sides but there's not so we don't have to fold this one over line it up and pin it that's a terrible one we're gonna throw it away when we're done I know I keep saying that but maybe I mean it this time all right we're just gonna sew these two seams Last one. Sewing it up a little better. I'm gonna throw it away. You guys see it's bent. It's sad. I don't throw them away usually because it could still be used. But it's getting on my nerves. Right. So right down through here. Let's cut it apart. Iron them open. We just lay them back out now they're actually identical if you see that but we're gonna flip the top one and there it is so we're just gonna fold it down and since we've ironed them both the same way every time our little seam here matches right up pin at the seam at the end and at the beginning so let's go sew it up and then we're done it's folded this way that seam under there so it's already going to go the right way another one but I hate to waste good fabric all right oh what have I done there we go so now we're just gonna iron this open and it really doesn't matter which side because they're both exactly the same and there you have it oh it is called a four patch variation I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you make it and love it. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.